Hey, it's Jay. Welcome back to Plasma Channel. Today we're going to be talking about wireless power transmission. Alright, you just witnessed an example of wireless power transmission. That plasma globe was unplugged. And this tower is not only the power source for it, but also for this fluorescent tube as well. Now if we're going to figure out how I did that, we're going to need to buckle down and talk about electric fields and electric field lines. Electric field lines always come out at perpendicular angles to their source. This is demonstrated by lettuce seeds and oil lining up along the electric field lines between a positively and a negatively charged rod. Alright, so that was an electric field in two dimensions. But to really understand wireless power, you gotta see it in three. So for this part, I'm turning off the lights and I'm going to use an unplugged plasma globe. You'll notice again that the field lines are all perpendicular to the source. We can also use this globe as a measure of field strength. You'll notice as I get closer and closer to the tower, more energy is present in the globe. And as I move it away, gradually there's less and less energy until nothing. Now that we know that space itself can store energy, let's talk about how we get energy there in the first place. It's pretty easy. High frequency alternating currents cause alternating electric fields. Any conductive object in those fields experiences what's called capacitive coupling. Or in other words, it absorbs power directly out of those electric fields. This tower is a coil of hundreds of feet of wire. The top of it's unconnected, just like an antenna, but the bottom of it's powered by a 20 kilovolt power source, running at 15,000 hertz. The purpose of the tower is to convert the electricity into that alternating electric field we were talking about. So we've got our power and our alternating electric field. We have wireless power. So let's go ahead and chart out the field density. So here's something interesting. Since my hand also experiences capacitive coupling with the tower, I can absorb all the available energy going to the globe. Here's an ordinary fluorescent tube. The electric fields are strong enough that they cause the gas inside the tube to ionize and break down. Or we can use another coil of wire to draw out a pure electric current. It's this same technology that's employed to power wireless cell phone chargers and a lot of medical implants. The take home message here is that wires are not the only way to send power. Sometimes you can use wireless power transmission too. Now, if you feel like you learned something pretty cool today and you enjoyed this episode, do me a huge favor and click that subscribe button below or leave a comment or leave a like. It would be a tremendous compliment to me. Now, if you'd like to see my past episodes, you can click the links in the description below or you can click the boxes to the left for episode one, two, and three. I'll see you next time on episode 5 of Plasma Channel.